Hello everyone, it's good to be with you and to share my favourite hymn with you, with you. If you'll forgive me, I won't actually reveal the name of this um, song, this hymn, until slightly later on. It really began many, many years ago in the mid-1950s. I was quite a youngster in those days, as you hopefully you can imagine. <laughs> and um, at that time, Billy Graham was um, carrying out many of his um, campaigns in London, his evangelical campaigns. Uh, people seemed to flock to listen to him in their thousands, night by night, in, I believe it was Haringey in London. Well, I went along to hear him, albeit not in London, but in Worthing, my hometown, and we had the service relayed to us in a enormous marquee, which packed thousands of people into it. And I'd recently become a Christian through Crusaders, and it meant a great deal to me. I understood what he was saying. But the thing that really made an impression, upon, an impression upon me and has done to this day was one of the songs, the hymns, which was sung, led by a wonderful singer by the name of George Beverly Shea. And um, I, as I say, I'll tell you what it was in a few moments. Ten years later, in 1966, my wife and I were just married and we had the occasion to listen to, or visit in this case, Billy Graham, actually in London. Uh, we catched a lift in a, a Mini Cooper S, which went like the wind, and I remember we went round the um, Kingston Bypass at 110 miles an hour, which was really hair-raising, uh, and, and visited and uh, attended that, that evening with Billy Graham. A memorable occasion, again, but mainly again because of this song which has remained with me ever since. The song itself was written, would you believe it, by a lady, Fanny Crosby, who was blind from birth. And it makes me wonder, it makes me think, how on earth could any person write such a hymn having not seen the beauties of creation at all during their lives, but she did. And she expresses her, her love and her assurance uh, of life eternal in this, in this hymn. You've probably guessed now what it is. It's blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. The, the chorus is, this is my story. This is my song, praising my savior all the day long. I must confess, that I don't necessarily outwardly appear to be praising my Saviour all the day long, but I can assure you that inwardly I am. And my prayer is that when you hear this hymn, you too will be able to sing, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine, and oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, and purchase of God. Yeah. 
Let out your own song, begin to sing out your own song of worship. Yeah. 